probably for the last time. Uh, I'm driving it, actually I'm driving it to work today, but I'm, I'm meeting a buyer just after work uh, who has agreed to buy the car. And it's, it's a little bittersweet, right? Um, I mean, this is the first like, you know, real like sports car that I had. Um, I've owned it for over 11 years and you know, yeah, of course there's bigger, better cars all over the place now, but um, but yeah, I mean this thing was, was was really like the car I wanted 11 years ago. Uh, so 11 years ago I, I found it online on Corvette Forum and six minutes after the guy posted it, uh, I committed to buying it sent the guy a message um, and we worked out logistics and, and everything. I flew to Atlanta. Uh, I'm in Texas. I flew to Atlanta in uh, like three days later and picked up the car. Hold on, I gotta go around a turn. I flew to Atlanta, picked up the car, me and my wife, drove it back to Texas. So I Flew to Atlanta on a Saturday morning, drove it back to Texas, spent the night in Alabama on the way back, and got back Sunday afternoon, made it to work on time Monday morning. So that was a very adventurous weekend. Uh, after I bought the car, the th or I committed to buying the car Thursday, uh, got the check from the bank on Friday, they overnighted it to me, and then got on a flight first thing Saturday morning. So that was, that was fun. Um, killer deal, I mean the guy put, at least thirty to forty thousand dollars worth of modifications into this car, uh, mostly all um, appearance modification. I mean, tons of body work, paint job, uh, some stuff on the inside. But of course, he's got the intake headers, exhaust. Sounds sounds amazing. So I bought it from that guy for thirty thousand dollars. It came with um, all this work, a set of you know really really nice and high end OZ racing wheels and Continental tires. Now here we are 11 years later and I'm selling it without the OZ wheels and tires because that's a different story but with uh, some OEM takeoff grand sport wheels for $27,000. So I've owned this car now for 11 years. I've put around 30,000 miles on it over those 11 years um, and now I'm selling for $27,000. So it's only, you know, what, $3,000 less than it was whenever I, I bought it which is incredible so i'm really excited about the deal i'm making so that's the good part of it that you know the bad part of course is i have to you know get rid of the car that's that's kind of the bittersweet part of it but the amazing part of it is that my c8 should be here probably in the next week maybe a week and a half um the dealer a couple days ago said that it was um made and ready for transport at the Corvette factory, which means it's already passed all the quality control checks and it's just waiting for a truck to go on. So that's cool. Uh, it usually takes, I don't know, a few days or a week after it gets on a truck to, to arrive at the dealer. So it's like the nick of time, I've been trying to sell this Corvette for two months and like two or three days before my C8 gets here, it looks like I'm gonna sell it. Uh, and the guy's, you know, paying cash for it, which is great. He's not giving me any hard time about financing and all that stuff. So. Uh, perfect scenario. So I'm bummed that I'm leaving this car. Um, I'm excited that I'm getting a good price for it. I'm really though excited about it. I can take that cash now and, and put it on a C8 and uh, I should have that in the next, you know, week, maybe two weeks max. Super, super exciting. Um, and then of course I'll make a video whenever the C8 arrives. The C8 will arrive, or when the C8 gets here, I'll of course uh, make a video about taking delivery and doing all that. Um, I, I have a couple of, you know, good ideas with the C8 almost as soon as I get it or to make some more videos, uh, some really good content. Um, and then I've got a set of wheels that are on a boat somewhere um, shipping here. Uh, I've ordered a set of wheels about two, two and a half months ago and they still haven't arrived yet. Don't worry, there's not like, it's not like they're not going to arrive, but uh, once those arrive, of course, that's more content and everything. Um, so that'll be exciting. Any unbearable hours later. Just like that, guys, it is gone. Off to its new owner. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, he's babying it. Yeah, I thought he was gonna floor it coming out of that. Well guys, here I am uh, sitting on the curb. I've been left abandoned here at the bank, uh, but that's okay. <laughs> New owners, totally cool. Really, really cool guys. Uh, totally honest, straightforward. Told me when they were gonna be there on Sunday, they were there. Loved the car. Told me they were gonna be here today. Loved the car. Got the money. I mean, best, probably the best buyers I've uh, talked to in a while. It took me a while to sell this car. Uh, probably about two months, which was a little surprising, but I wasn't I wasn't giving it away. I was asking uh, a, a decent amount of money for it. The market for Corvettes, especially standard transmission Corvettes, is really high right now. Um, so I wanted to get what I needed to get for it. Um, so running the numbers here real quick, I bought the car for $30,000 back in 2010. Um, I have sent, of course, gas, insurance, maintenance, all that stuff, put in you know, a decent amount of money here and there. And repairs and modifications, I've maybe spent two to $3,000, maybe. Uh, had to get a new set of tires, then got a new set of wheels and tires, uh, but that was cheap and used. Um, and then I had to do a couple of minor repairs, and then the big repair right before I bought it was getting the column lock uh, fixed. That was like 900 bucks, 800 something dollars. So that was kind of expensive. Altogether, three ish, maybe maybe four, four thousand dollars in in modifications and repairs outside of normal gas maintenance insurance. So let's say I'm all in it for let's say 34,000. I also had to pay taxes at the time I bought it, things like that. So 34,000. I just sold it. Uh, 11 and a half years later for 27,000. Uh, that's that's pretty dang good, man. I mean, 11 years and its cost of ownership was only $7,000. Um, man, it's awesome. But, so here's the good news. Real bittersweet, the car being gone, but C8 will be here very, very soon. And I'm paying $67,000 for that C8. And there's base model 1LT Z51s going on the internet now for between 90 to 99,000 ish a little under 100 for something like that that's that's insane so the second I buy the car drive it off the lot it's not going to lose 40% in value I'm going to gain 40% in value it's bananas now it's not going to last forever I know that like I mean I'm not going to flip the car uh, I might I might have some fun here on YouTube uh, just going through the exercises of, of what, seeing what my car is worth, but I'm not going to sell it. Um, now I will sell it if something comes around and I can get a Z06, maybe 2022, I'm mean, sorry, it wouldn't be 2022, maybe 2023 Z06 now, unless they surprise everyone and do something weird for 2022. I don't think they will at this point. Um, then, yeah, then, then I'll sell it. Then I'll try to get as much as I can get on the market for it and just roll that into a Z06. At that time, I'll probably get what I paid plus taxes. Uh, plus, you know, maybe a couple little things here and there. Um, I wouldn't expect to, to profit twenty, thirty thousand dollars on uh, on this car I'm getting a year from now. So, man, super excited, super bittersweet day. Uh, but man, I'm I'm so so excited about the new C8 coming. It should be here sometime in the next week, maybe two weeks, and then uh, we're gonna have some awesome content. So, good luck to the new owners. I appreciate everything you're doing, and uh, until next time, guys. Adios.